it's Ms. Hurst with Hamilton County Schools. We're going to continue our unit on uh, the Cold War today by looking at an article called McCarthyism and the Red Scare. I'm going to go ahead and share this. Uh, I want you to take some time just to read, do a, a straight through first read, a contiguous first read of this text, the 1950s part one, McCarthy and the Red Scare, and then we're going to do a close read of this text. Pause me while you do that first read. All right, we're going to start by looking at the first three paragraphs of this uh, text. Remember, during a close read, I want you to take some time to write out the answers to these questions because they should help prepare you for the final question that you will actually have to submit um, with evidence from the text in a full paragraph form. So. Uh, in paragraphs one through three, so everything before this government promotes a fear of communism, what words describe the court case in those paragraphs? Why did the author choose to present the court case as though it were a violent skirmish or battle of types? And why did the author choose to begin the article with the end of the Red Scare? Again, you can always pause me if you need more time to answer those questions than I give you. Next, we're going to look at this next section called Government Promotes a Fear of Communism. In these paragraphs, these four, what words does the author use in this section to show McCarthy's character? In this section, what point is the author trying to make? How does the author make his point in this section? All right, in the next section, the states pass laws to stop communist activities. How does this section contribute to the overall central idea of the text? In what ways is the pervasiveness or the kind of all throughoutness of the Red Scare made obvious in this section? Next, we're gonna look at the Hollywood 10 trials. How does this section contribute to the idea that anyone could be impacted by the Red Scare? How did the Alger Hiss case contribute to the Red Scare? I don't know if it's Alger or Alger. <laughs> and then finally, in the Rosenbergs are convicted of treason, how does this section differ from the one before it? And why would the author end the article by discussing the Rosenbergs? All right, and then for our last, our last activity, how does the section, the Rosenbergs are convicted of treason, contribute to the central idea of the article? So this is where I want you to take time to use evidence from the text and write at least a full paragraph. All right, once you're done, have a wonderful rest of your day.